With this launch, we are also remembering an NRO teammate. Here is Mission Director, Colonel Eric Zari Baniski. Attention on countdown one, this is the MD. This morning's NROL 107 launch is dedicated to the memory of Captain Albert Al Perez, United States Navy. Captain Perez dedicated, dedicated countless hours of deep technical expertise, ensuring the success of multiple National Reconnaissance Office missions. His warm personality, team spirit, and phenomenal leadership will re be remembered by the intelligence community and the United States Navy. To our fellow patriot, fair winds and following seas, may you rest in peace. MD out. ULA is proud to have launched nearly 100 missions in support of national security. Let's hear more about ULA's commitment to defending our nation. Before I joined United Launch Alliance, I was in the Air Force for 28 years. The majority of that time um, was in the rocket business. My last assignment was the director of the Office of Space Launch at the National Reconnaissance Office. So this mission today means a lot to me. The importance of the satellites that ULA puts up for this nation cannot be overstated. It provides the eyes and ears, the communications links, the navigation that enables our men and women to come home safely. Therefore, a launch provider has to be 100% reliable. And that has to be a culture. It's not just a day of launch philosophy or how you handle an anomaly. You know from the moment you walk in the door of your first day what the most important thing is not satisfied until our customer has had a successful spacecraft separation. ULA has a rich heritage of supporting national security space launch. We have had 97 successful launches supporting the defense community. We look forward to taking the best of Atlas and Delta, combining them in the processes, procedures, and hardware on the Vulcan vehicle to continue to support the national security space community going into the future. From processes like vertical integration on the ground to complex missions from LEO all the way to GEO, ULA is not afraid to take on the hard missions because that's what our nation depends on us to do. ULA is proud to be the launch provider for vital national security missions. We remain in the planned 30-minute hold as we continue towards liftoff. In a few moments, launch conductor Dylan Rice will pull the final will pull the launch team for the final go to pick up the count. 29 engineers and managers are pulled for system status and readiness to proceed. This is the final status check for all Atlas vehicle systems, ground systems, spacecraft, and the U.S. Space Force Eastern Range. The vehicle system readiness poll includes electrical systems, hydraulics, pneumatics, propulsion systems, flight control, and propellants. Let's listen in as Dylan Rice performs the final polling. Minus seven minutes. Status check to proceed with terminal count, Atlas systems, propulsion. Go. Hydraulics. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. Water. Go. Centaur systems, propulsion. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2, go. LH2, go. As gas, go. Electrical systems, airborne, go. Ground, go. Facility, go. RFFTS, go. Flight control, go. GCQ, go. Off support, go. Com, go. Umbilicals, go. ECS, go. Redline monitor, go. Quality, go. Off safety manager, go. ULA safety officer, go. Vehicle system engineer. Go. Anomaly chief. Go. Range coordinator. Clear to proceed. Launch director. Launch vehicle is ready to launch. Mission director. You have permission to launch. Proceeding with the count. ALC, verified T0 is set for 1247 Zulu. Verified. Polling is complete. 
the ULA launch team and the Space Force mission director are go for launch. From T minus four minutes until launch, you will be listening to Dylan Rice and his team performing the final steps in the countdown procedure. Several critical activities occur in the final minutes before launch, including verifying fuel tank levels and pressures in the booster and Centaur and arming the flight termination system. At T minus 25 seconds, you'll hear Go Atlas, Go Centaur, Go Silent Barker, NROL 107. This is the final status check of rocket and payload readiness. At T minus three seconds, the main engine ignites, followed by ignition of the solid rocket boosters. Then, after seeing Atlas V lift off the launch pad, you'll be hearing flight commentator Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent data. Minus four minutes, 30 seconds. This SVTD on channel one, the SVLS is configured for launch. Roger. All steps complete for our terminal count. This is Atlas Mission Control at T minus four minutes and holding. We anticipate releasing the hold in just a few moments. On my mark, the time will be T minus four minutes and counting. Three. Two, one, mark. Two fifty five. The countdown clock has resumed and we are go for launch at eight forty seven AM Eastern. With liftoff approaching, we're going to raise the volume on our launch team so you can hear the final preps taking place. Atlas hydraulics at flight pressure. T minus three minutes. Pressurizing Atlas tanks. Securing LO2 topping. 250. FTS internal. One fifty nine. Vehicle internal. Launch sequencer start. One fifty. Securing Centaur LH two. Securing Centaur LO two. One forty. Launch enabled. T minus ninety seconds. The launch vehicle, payload, ground systems, and eastern range are go for launch. One twenty. OC is armed. SCS count started. One fifteen. Reduce ECS for launch. Roger. One ten. Then valve lock. T minus one minute. T minus one minute. Range green. Forty-two. 
40 seconds. Stable at step three. Verify ECS reduced for launch. Verify. Seconds. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Silent Marker and ROL 107. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have ignition. 2, 1. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying Silent Barker NRL 107 for the National Reconnaissance Office and the United States Space Force. SRB chamber pressures continue to climb out. We have entered our first throttle bucket for the RD-180. Everything is looking good. Coming up on 30 seconds into the mission. PU has gone to closed loop control. Completed pitch program. Mach 1, vehicle is now supersonic. Coming up on max Q. Max dynamic pressure. And we're throttling up on the RD-180, still seeing a normal burn profile on the SRBs. Seconds, we'll be throttling down for SRB burnout. Body rates look good, acceleration looks good. Throttling down in preparation for SRB burnout. You are hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent data. SRBs are rolling off. And we have burnout. All five SRBs are rolling off, approaching zero. RD-180 continues to operate normally. About 10 seconds to jettison. RD-180 continues to operate normally. And we have jettisoned all five SRBs. Vehicles now in closed loop guidance, as expected. RD-180 continues to operate normally. And executing the throttle profile as expected. There are two minutes to nominal BECO. The next event we're looking for is throttling down to to an FG constant uh, acceleration in preparation for a fairing separation. We fired the pyro valves, activating the reaction control system on the second stage. Coming up on fairing jettison. Fairing jet, and see how far our separation is completed as well. Throttling back up. This is Atlas Mission Control at T plus three and a half minutes. We just heard flight commentator Rob Gannon confirm the successful completion of the early phase of today's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally. At this time, we'll end our live coverage. For more information on the Atlas V vehicle, visit ulalaunch.com. I'm Pam Ziert. Thank you for joining me this morning. Before we sign off, let's take another look at liftoff of the Atlas V rocket with Silent Barker. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have ignition. 2, 1. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying Silent Barker NRL 107 for the National Reconnaissance Office and the United States Space Force.